Okay. Yep, we can continue. Yeah. We, we could maybe rest. <laughs> In the hallway? Listen, you can rest while we dig the hole. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think that'll that'll happen. We'll see. Anyway. We're we going to need at least 10 minutes to dig a hole. Yeah. So, so we keep going, we and we head the through child. the mudroom. Okay. As you, as you enter the mudroom, you can see that there are a number the of... Head. There's, like, two more dead soldiers in here. Oh, they God. were cut down while they were trying to run in. Um, behead them. I behead, yeah, absolutely. Okay, you behead them just instantly. Their heads just roll off. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Wine? No wine. No wine. Okay. And uh, in leading... Obviously leading outside the house, there are these two heavy uh, oaken double doors mm. that looks like to be an exit. <gasps> Is there any windows that peer out? Uh, there are. There are two slitted windows that look out onto the back gardens. I'd like to... I also okay. have spyglass on the other one. Yeah. yeah. You you guys you guys <laughs> peer through looking. Um you But his clo- his is closer. You, you see this heavily magnified version of cracked paint glass. Uh yeah. <laughs> the but as you as you look so you can see that it leads out onto this like kind of the this hill that rises up from the back of the house. So, like the back house goes and there's this hill that rises up like this. And then down below that there is like this field of just tall grass hmm. beyond. Soon there'd hopefully be some shovels. We do yeah, need to dig. Good question. You guys do remember there was a gardener's shed back around the front part of the house. Oh, for goodness sake. We were oh. just back there. Oh, yeah. I mean, who keeps their shed in the front? She won't be it's happy. It's near the vineyard. <laughs> she won't be happy if we leave the bodies. So I'm reckoning, uh... So, so who's... I'm carrying a body, and who else is carrying a body? Yes, I've got the other one. Sneak Pete's oh, carrying Pete's got the other one. Okay. Conway and Rosario. We could, uh, we could go get the tools. Unless, visit our friends. unless Sneaky Pete wants to be sneaky. I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty good at sneaking. I'm, I could I could go run and get the, sh- the tools from the shed and come back. <laughs> I'm I'm then how I about am. you tag team it? How you both be sneaky together? All right, all no, right. how about... No, you want to go get it? Okay. Okay. Right, we'll, we'll he's got he's to gotta live up to his name. We'll sit here and rest. I will go with Sneaky Pete because yeah, I haven't taken want, any damage. I just want one person. I am pretty sneaky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest. You guys need to rest here. Yeah. Okay. And you guys so are we gonna s- back around. Split the, the party. S- you're the sneaky. I I cool. do. Yeah. Splitting the party. It's always a good idea. I'm the least sneaky. All right. Cool. That makes sense. We we both have our hands ready on our gun and on so our freeze. So you fire. guys you guys aren't taking the bodies with you, right? No. You guys are keeping no. Them. Yes. Uh, I don't want to be actively carrying them. I would like to just set them down. Set them down, but nicely. Okay. Yeah. So have, have them like hold hands. Maybe sit them just to make sure. You guys make your way outside of this room <laughs> and keys. head back past the like the crackling electricity door yes. and yes. back around the armor corner. Okay. So you make your way out that way. Uh, you guys settle down for a rest. <laughs> and uh, af- after a few moments... Do I of... get any benefits from resting? Uh, no, because after yeah. <laughs> after a few moments of resting, there is this um, this like blue light that kind of floods in a little bit through one of the cracked windows. Mm-hmm. And floating up through the window, you see this floating skull floating just above the window pane. as like yeah. blue flame. It's a good thing I stayed here to rest. Uh, <laughs> as you as you two turn to look, uh, coming into the mudroom and floating, you see three more of the skulls oh, floating into the mudroom. Uh, they seem to be attracted to the corpses. Um, so you guys make mm-hmm. your way around the um, the hallway and back towards the wine room. <laughs> yes, the I, wine showroom. I left a cup of wine. Yeah, you did. It's it's. I take my mask. I put it on the corpse, <laughs> and then and then. It, doesn't go you near could the offer corpse. up your mask. It's uh, it's still it's still there. The glass oh, of wine is still there. Okay. And you come around the corner and you uh, see these uh, two Luxian soldiers like stumble into the wine showroom and tilt their heads upwards as they see you, and their their eyes are like dead and milky, and they look at you and go. Uh. I immediately just shoot him. All right. I immediately freeze. As I'm Three. Roll it. Roll it. Uh, D six. We got a six. Oh jeez. So one of them just freezes right in place and Jeez. falls and cracks into a million oh, pieces. Nice. The other one takes a shot to the sol- shoulder and charges at Royce. Uh, he's going to slash at you with his sword. Okay. For one damage. Okay. So he, he, he cuts into you, and then he rears back for another strike. Okay. I uh, attempt to grab him and wrestle him to the floor. Okay. Give me strength. 
I make okay. it. Okay, so yeah, you just you garden. How does it? What does it look like? He's coming down with at you with his sword arm. Yeah, I grab it and I actually Without rip his arm out of his socket. Because oh, okay. It's like the just, cane, just the and then just like slam him to the ground. As you rip the arm out, there's like this jet of wine that just goes <laughs> and runs on the ring, and he just like he just like and trips and falls to the ground. Okay, and then nice. curb stomp him. Okay. Well, I uh, guess it's not a curb, but stomp him. Yeah. Roll down. Roll d six. Another three. Splat. His head just explodes. All right, you guys want to move on? Yeah. Roll, <laughs> Royce. In the meantime, there's so these, there's these floating skulls. <laughs> so three of them float in, and they oh, I the... fucking book it out the garden. Uh, I go, to I, the garden. Uh, yeah, we we leave the bodies behind. Okay. <laughs> what? You guys leave the bodies behind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Through. So you leave the bodies behind, and you go charging out past the double doors. Um, you you like burst them open. You're like, ah! and it, it's actually kind of stressful because the the doors were locked at first. So you have to like unlock the oh, bed bolt and then like push it open. Shoot it open. So you. You push away, and you, you push away out into these stone steps that descend downward a little bit, and then down into the hill that I described earlier. So you're just like, ah! Yeah. And as you're running away, you both hear this voice in your head. So you just, no. No. You will not leave my corpse to these scavengers, you fiends! <laughs> Turn back, you cowards! And as you can, you can see the skulls, like, ignore you, and they float, and they hang around the bodies a bit, and they seem to focus on Rosario, and they float you're over towards her. And there's like this blue mist that starts to coalesce out of the body. You're gonna lose the escort mission. I, I don't say, care. Yeah, I say we. What? Okay. Yeah. Pack it. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So where are you guys running to? Um. So what's this? Is there anything? So there is a large grassy hill, or not really a garden. There's a large grassy hill that goes up and over, rising from the exit, and then a, just a field of tall grass that runs down beyond that. Well, so we came here to get wine, but. Well, we need to like. There's no way unless we want to loop around. There's no way. Yeah, you can run all the way back around the house if you wanted to, but you might kind of golem. Is there like maybe? But we still don't know. Once we get the wine, how to get it out? Is there any way to climb up the building? Like, is there maybe there are there are handholds and stuff? Yeah, you could try to climb your way. I assume there's climb up to the second floor or window. It'd be it'd be difficult, and you'd be at risk of falling and hurting yourself. But you could try it. Man, Mason. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? What would I think that accomplish? Why think, you guys are thinking about it? I think that Mason's ultimate goal in everything <laughs> that we ever do together is to try and get me in the most precarious position possible. <laughs> well, we do that. We'll go back to you guys really quick. So you guys run back to the main room. You get there, and it's like the cracked, broken floor with the chandelier, and yeah. the the double doors are shut tight. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you push your way out through them. You push your way out through, and as you exit on, you can see the vineyard stretch out before you, and the the vine golem is standing in the vineyard, like bending down, head staring, head staring down, away from us. Yeah, facing away from you. Yes. Is there like a tool shed we could get to without crossing his line of sight? No, it, the tool shed is he's between you and the shed. I see. We we activate our stealth or sneaking ability. Yeah. To move. Okay. Attempt to, I attempt creep to sneak through those vines. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll a will save man then. Okay. It sees if he notices us. Yeah. yeah. He does not. Oh, so you okay. guys, you guys definitely sneak through the, the vines. Why wouldn't he? Dude, stealth will see. Sneaky P. So, you you guys notice as you like sneak by him that he's bending down over these vines mm-hmm. and he's bringing like his amalgamated vine hands down into them and he presses them down and then a whole bunch of vines like snake up and crawl around and slither up him. Mm. He's recharging himself. Uh, you guys creep your way over to the shed. Yes. And uh, it's like a it's like a small wooden shed. It's yes. got like wooden board planks and a door that like swings open. Mm-hmm. It's partially open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we Same open point. it up. We sneak over. Okay. Sneak over. Very quietly. Point of Very, as quiet as a man. So, so we're looking for shovels. Yeah, it like oh, quietly I... creaks open. And peering, in, peering inside the shed, you can see that there's all a number of gardening tools there. You got hoes, you got rakes, shovels. Yes. Yes. Um, there's a couple of like these uh, barrels with like heavy tamped down lids. That have like heavy pots on top of them. Okay, I take a uh, mental note of the barrel. There's like later. a there's like a rank smell coming from the barrels. Ooh, fertilizer maybe, or yeah, some yeah. sort of. We could probably put some good wine in there later if we rinse the barrels right. I think they have barrels already. Okay. Usually, uh, we'll just, anyway, we'll just grab the shovels and, unless you see and anything useful in there. 
shears, like pruning shears. Yeah, you can grab shears. Trying to fight a vine golem. You, there's a sickle if you want to take it too. Oh, we that's what I want. Okay. Shovels, can I just write that down? Yeah. We could go back. So you you find a sickle. You guys grab the shovels. I'm gonna make. Is one there is there a rope or anything like a hose? There is not. No, no there's okay. no running water or anything Fair like enough. that. Uh, so what do you guys want to do after you grab this stuff? Sneak on yeah. back out. All right, I will make a roll. Same, then. same, same way. Yeah, as close as we can get it. Okay. okay. Why break it? Or why fix what isn't broken? Yeah, it's... It does not see you again. Yeah. So you guys sneak your way back to the house with this garden. With a bunch of garden <laughs> yeah. equipment. Uh, in the meantime, so Shovels. yeah, you guys are standing there trying okay. to figure out what to do. Oh, okay, we need to okay. actually be on. Wh- okay, what's so our there's, plan? There's, so there's still the two windows. Yeah. That are facing out. Yeah, the two slatted windows facing yeah. out from the. Um. Okay, so that? so we abandoned her body, basically being like, okay, let's let the skulls just do with her what they want. But now you're you're saying well, we well, should well, go back. We're just to gonna her? go outside. No, but like we can climb. We need to figure out some way to go get look, wine so you, in the you, cellar. You, you the notice basement. that as what you guys are like arguing about this, oh, and you, like, you look back towards one of the skulls, and as it absorbs more of the blue, one of it sucks that in, and after a while, the skull's head like grows for a second, and then goes, and it explodes into dust. And you guys see this this bluish hand like reach slowly out of Rosario's oh, corpse fuck. and hit the ground, and like there's drops of water that like fall from it for a second, and you hear this voice in your heads that says, "You." Common thieves. And another hand like comes out of the body slowly and so, so she's stronger than those skulls. So yeah, let's go back and God damn it. Uh, go back so and bury her for Okay. Fine. They've got tools now, so we'll really bury we don't her. Know that. I know that in my heart. <laughs> so are you guys just like standing there like not, no, not I'm gonna anything? go back and I'm gonna be uh, apologizing profusely. I'm like, I'm sorry. I <laughs> don't know what came over me. So as you make your way back and you're like, I'm sorry, the skulls like turn to face you. No. I, I use I my might... mask. Okay, you can target one of them. Yeah. <laughs> it passes, so it is not affected. I... I'd like to peek in through one of the windows. So I get another thing. And shoot. What? Peek in from what? And shoot? It's shoot through one of the windows. That's fine. Roll damage. Uh, not before one of them flies at you. I don't know. Three. Okay. I can't keep engaging in combat. So so Fuck. one of the, one of the skulls like takes a bullet sight out of the side of its eye. The other one goes swooping for you and does six damage. Whoa. Of course. I'm gonna die. You, well, you no, you're you you're dead? actually you are dead. I'm dead. No, no, no. So you have two HP still. No, right? no, no. He doesn't because no. we never rested. Oh no. Uh, we did rest. No, we got interrupted. I yeah, I asked him if resting did anything. No, he no, said no, no. Because the last time. There was some rest. No, that was because no, because it got interrupted. Yeah, that was why. So so yeah, this this thing like this thing like flies right for you and just uh just like. Argh! So I'll give you a choice. Uh, you can you can go down here. You can die, or you can have it bite your mask off and crack into pieces. Oh, yeah. Take the take the mask. Take the mask. Have okay. No pride. I can no, you gotta mask. give him the mask. Okay. So the skull like flies forward and it, it like rips the mask off your face and it just goes and snaps the mask in two. Uh, mm-hmm. Another one starts flying for you. I. I keep shooting through the window. Okay. Splitting apart well, is always good. I don't have good depth, oh, so really I'm going to shoot in three. Two again. Two I'm going to sh- <laughs> shoot. Do you want to focus the same one as before or aim at a different one? Yeah, I'll do the same one. Okay, so you blow that one to pieces. <laughs> what about you? Shooting? Yeah, I'm going to shoot it. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> D20, dude. Holy crap. Five. Five. Yeah, it explodes into pieces. Okay. <laughs> and the other one with the mask is like up here in the sky, just like... <laughs> So there's, so there's one more, and it's still like draining stuff from the body. Just and the the ghostly head of Rosario is starting to like coalesce out of her body now. Uh, and as you start apologizing, as you're like dealing with these skulls, she like slowly starts to go back down. Like, pick up my corpse, servant. Oh, whatever. Okay. Are, are you gonna go pick her up? I have no choice. Go pick her up. I'll keep shooting the skulls. Yeah, I'm gonna pick her up. Okay. Uh, you pick up the corpse and the skull that was still feeding off it stops its meal interrupted and turns towards you and there's like this whoosh that appears in its eyes roll a will save I, for me that's right 
You are frozen in fear. You cannot move. So, like, you have Rosario's halfway, body halfway open, goes, <gasps> and you're just frozen, and the skull rears back and goes for a charge. Bang, I shoot it. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. I didn't shoot it down. Nope. So, like, this <laughs> chunk blows out of the skull, and I'm sorry, Will, but the skull flies right forward. Uh, do you have any... Oh, no, because you didn't take the strength damage before because you gave the mask, so you might survive this. Let me see. Does three damage. Ha! <laughs> Make that strength save. Yeah, roll, roll it. <laughs> uh, D20, yep. Uh, nope. So it, it flies forward and like gets you good right on the face and you go down, frozen in fear, and Rosario's corpse like falls over on top of you. Oh, dear. And you're just like, ah! And the skull's like gnawing at you. All right, uh, while it's feasting on my friend, I'll line up a shot. Okay. Bang. Yeah. I've rolled only three. It explodes. So yeah, you only feel the burning heat for a moment before they're blown away. Oh, before life <laughs> exits my body? Yeah, <laughs> no, you're fine. Oh, okay. As long as you can get me back up, which you can. So. Yeah, yeah. This reminds me of the same thing. <laughs> so we're just, this is reminding, oh, no. <laughs> reminding me of Black Dahlia Murder. <laughs> so by that time, you guys have made your way back around with the gardening equipment back mm -hmm. to this room. Hey guys, how'd it go? We had a you don't look so we good. had a successful mission. Oh, you look like you might need to rest. Are you okay? We Morris? should probably rest. I want to go no, no. home. <laughs> Are we going to bury these bodies? I'm, I'm feeling, done with. I'm feeling fit as a fiddle. I'm gonna. Start I need, yeah, let's start digging. Yeah. I need wine. Yeah. If I'm gonna digging. stay here. Well, we'll get some wine. Don't yeah. you worry. Yeah. Pete left a cup for you. I did. It's the magic wine. <laughs> Can I have some? No, it's in the back room. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, listen, we got to bury these bodies first, and I want to mess yeah. with first. First. You gotta pay your respects, All right. right? So you gotta take their uh, wine. I, how I, many people? I respect, so, somebody I re get her off. I respectfully Wait. take her off. How many shovels okay. did you guys have? Four. Yeah, four? obviously. Sure, four. <laughs> okay. Well, because if two of you had shovels, the other two could rest. Well, we don't have to use all four shovels. I dual wield the shovels. <laughs> how, with with. <laughs> God, how I fast would it be if we anymore. did four four people shovel versus two people? Okay. It would be much faster if you did four people shoveling. How about maybe three? twice? What, as what, a, what a three? I'll, I'll do it this way. So if, if two people are shoveling, and you guys take it in shifts. You can rest, but I'll roll for a random encounter, which might be a monster, it might be nothing. Uh, you can do it four people shoveling, which will not roll for a random encounter, but you will get to rest before something else happens. I think I'm you going two to need to rest. <laughs> yes. So let's do the shifts. Okay. 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 We oh we'll, we'll do we the work hard. We get a good sweat going. Yeah, in the, in the, in the foggy. And we'll, we'll this rest. Re this rest better count for something. Here, Will, you want to roll the random encounter? I do. <laughs> Choose your own fate. Nice. I like it. Okay, so you you guys are like, who's you guys are digging, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you Team guys sneakies. rest. Go ahead and refill your HP. You take a few minutes. Um, I guess I'm not resting. And so so we're outside. Yep. We've got both bodies outside with us. Yep. Lying peacefully, yep. ready to be. You're like digging yep. this, digging this, yep. these holes. And now, not digging it too deep. Yeah, yep. not not too deep. Yep. yep. And now we're shoveling, so then they can right because it went in shifts. So yeah, my, you, my, you shift. My strength doesn't go back up anymore. No. no. Nope. From that's, now on, it's only a two. Yep. That's the that's the grind. Yep. Uh, uh, like a week's worth of restoration refills it by one point. Man. So. Now I now I'm good at running. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was good at strength oh, before. Man. Now I'm good at running. I don't know. I feel pretty, yeah. I pretty, feel pretty good. Yeah, I feel I feel great. I feel <laughs> real great. I'm gonna dig. <laughs> so you you guys are like digging this hole, and you get it about like maybe how deep do you want to dig it? Like three feet or? I don't know. I've never dug a grave. You go six you, feet you, under, right? Six, yeah, six feet under. Six feet. Yeah. Under. So we're doing three feet that's then. Like, okay. Cool. So would so you, you be happy? You, you you get about halfway done before you hear this growling noise coming out of the tall grass beyond the hill. Uh, and there's a moment oh, where like it like it like rustles for a second, and then you see um, you see the eyes of this like Lexilian soldier like peek out of the grass for a minute, and then it goes and descends back down into the grass. Did you see that? It looked like a soldier. Well, at least it's not bothering. And this is the digging. Lux, not the Loxwoods. The Lux. You can tell by the insignia and colors. Hmm. Well, I wonder if we had a, a way to start a fire. We could burn them out. You've been over this. I know, I know. 
Spyglass.